Hello, my dear sewing friends. You are watching one pattern many ways, and that is a mini series on my sewing channel where I take one pattern that I have usually, in most cases, used for years and years, and then over the years, I have either modified the pattern a little bit, maybe I've added a detail or two, maybe I played around with fabrics and textures, and as a result, what it does, it gives you a unique perspective on the same simple pattern. Hence one pattern in many ways. And last time we were discussing pencil skirts and I showed you my collection of pencil skirts from the days when I used to work in Vegas. And today I have these beautiful kimono tops, boxy tops, you might call it a dolman top with a short sleeve, whatever you wanna call it. It's probably one of the simplest tops to sew in the world. And you know me, I like clean lines, simple silhouettes, easy breezy stuff that is effortless to wear. And this definitely checks all of the boxes. And maybe you will pick an idea or two for yourself for your next pattern in many ways. So let's get started. I think the simplicity of the top is just absolutely amazing. Literally, it's just a box with a neckline and a little bit of a sleeve. But this is one of those tops where you can let the fabric do the job. I'm sure you have heard that expression, and I truly believe that sometimes the most beautiful, exclusive fabric that you have in your hands has to go on the most simple, effortless silhouettes and patterns. And I think that a lot of times we feel the opposite. We feel that the most complicated fabric or the most intricate fabric, the most expensive fabric has to go with the most intricate pattern, the pattern that is super difficult, uses like 25 uh, you know, extra notions and it has this and that and takes like 40 hours to put together. Well, over the years I have come to realize that a lot of times it's the opposite that works the best and this is one of those cases. I did have a little bit of a trouble with placing the actual pattern straight because the pattern on this fabric, it's a digital print, has been printed off grain. So if you really, really look closely, you will see that one side of the top is about, is about four millimeters shorter than the other. When you wear it, you can't see it, but if you really look closely on the dress form, it's there. But you know what? I had to work with what I had to work with and I'm really happy. I think I made it about two, maybe three years ago, and I always get a lot of compliments on it. So guys, sometimes you just have to let the fabric do the heavy lifting. Next up is the blouse that every time I wear it in my videos, people ask me, where did you get this pattern? Well, the pattern is Kirsten Kimono Tee, which is a free sewing pattern, or you can draft it yourself, or you can trace it from the uh, ready to wear piece that you already have at home plenty of options. This is such a simple style, you can totally do it. So I will leave all the links for you in the info box below. This one is exactly the same as the previous one for the only difference, which is the keyhole closure in the back, which allows for a little bit of a higher neck. And I do have a video where I review this free sewing pattern, so I will leave that for you in the info box as well, so that way you can see a little close up. But this is such a beautiful blouse to wear with a pencil skirt or a uh, really narrow pant with high heels. And I also added a little bit of a wider hem on the bottom just because you know, I felt like it. But other than that, it's the same simple pattern. Again, I feel that a lot of times you guys ask me, where did I get this pattern? Is due to the fabric that I used. I do think that it looks really nicely on this very simple shape. And then the keyhole in the back definitely adds a tiny bit of detail, a tiny bit of detail, enough to create an intrigue. Okay, so does this look similar by any chance? Yes, keyhole closure in the back as well. And the reason why I do a keyhole closure in these blouses is again, because it allows for a higher neck. I do like a higher neckline. I know, I know a lot of you guys tell me that you don't like anything around your neck. I do like a higher neckline because then you can wear it with a beautiful statement jewelry piece or a scarf and I do like that. But obviously everybody is different and you can always make your neckline a little bit lower or even a V-neck or just have fun with it or have a keyhole closure and not in, in the back but instead of that in the front but this one is exactly the same thing as the previous one as the first one for the only exception of these beautiful romantic ruffles on the sleeves this is my go-to with jeans and maybe a little high heel statement necklace piece and with my hubby to the cinemas which hasn't happened in months or maybe even a year now, but this is a beautiful piece to wear on its own with a jacket. I mean, so many possibilities and just a little detail, right? Just a little detail. Look, 
can change the whole mood of the top, right? And of course, fabric as well. So the first three tops that you just saw were all wovens, right? Non-stretch fabric, that's the reason I had keyholes and bias tape on the necklines and all the stuff. Now this one is exactly the same pattern lines. This one was self-drafted and I did extend the sleeve just a tiny bit, but this one is stretch. So this is kind of the no-brainer version of a t-shirt where you just have the shoulder seams and the side seams and pretty much you're done. I did adjust the neckline for it to be a little bit lower, okay? And of course, I just played with a combination of colors. This is a really really, really thin jersey, really thin jersey, like super lightweight. And this, oh, I don't remember, but I do remember I bought it from, from fabric.com and I do remember it was a nightmare to work with, but I do like the combination of the colors. I do have a wider hem here on the bottom and yeah, so you can make it in a variety of fabrics, stretch, non-stretch, you just need to make sure that you have plenty of wearable ease if you're going for non-stretch versus stretch, so definitely keep that in mind. Okay, so this ready-to-wear blouse was actually a gift from my mom. And again, same point over here. We are letting the fabric to do the work, right? How beautiful is this embroidery? Just amazing. Same pattern lines you see. You know, it's just a boxy top with a tiny bit of a sleeve. Here is a little keyhole closure. This time there's a little button over here. So possibilities are endless, really. But then on the bottom, look what they did on the bottom. They did cinch it in a little bit. Look, see right over here, right? They gathered the fabric and they added a really wide band on the bottom. This is not a stretch, everything is woven. But then on this side, just to ensure that you can actually get into it, they added two little buttons over here. So, same pattern, you let the fabric do the job and it is beautiful. I do love to wear this ready to wear top with a little cami underneath. It is really nice and breezy for the summer. Now you might feel that the details that I used in my tops to make them different or to give them some sort of personality are a little subtle, well, that's fine. That's what I like and what I wear for yourself. I hope this encourages you to really have fun and to play with these patterns, whether simple or more complicated, but do play around with them and make one pattern many ways. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.